Rumoured Spurs targets release clause is only valid for one more week. Welcome back to Tottenham News Today channel. Before we dive into this transfer update, make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay updated with all the latest news. Fabrizio Romano has said that the £51 million release clause in Dani Olmo's contract will expire in a little over a week, with Tottenham and other interested clubs thus needing to act fast if they wish to sign the Red Bull Leipzig star. Danny Olmo's release clause is set to expire. While several outlets suggested earlier in the summer that Tottenham were one of the leading contenders to secure Olmo's signature, the speculation linking the winger with a move to the North London club has died down over the last couple of months. Other clubs seem to have moved into the front of the queue for the Spain international, with Sky Germany reporting earlier this week that Manchester City are keen on acquiring the player's services. On Thursday, Football transfers claimed that Manchester United and Bayern Munich were in pole position to land the attacking midfielder, with both clubs said to have reached out to the player's agent. It was alleged that the Bavarians and the Red Devils were both ready to press ahead with moves for the 26-year-old once he returned from the Euros. Romano has now said that the race for almost signature remains open, with the player's entourage set to meet with potential suitors soon, the journalist told Court Offside. I want to start with an important update on the situation of Danny Olmo. From what I'm told, there is an important detail on Olmo's £51 million release clause. The plan was for the clause to run until Monday the 15th of July, but if the Spanish national team were to reach the final of the Euros, it would then run for five more days now until the 20th of July. But he can be an option for many other clubs, so what's going on with Olmo? I'm told that there are meetings expected with Premier League clubs while Bayern also appreciate this opportunity. But it could be really complicated to negotiate with Leipzig if they're not fast and the date of his release clause being valid passes. It would take a lot more than £51 million to sign Olmo after the 20th of July, with the release clause only active for a few days after Sunday's Euro 2024 final. I would expect a mad scramble from various sides for Olmo. I doubt Tottenham would want to get involved in that battle, with the Lillywhites now seemingly focused on the likes of Eze and Desire Do. According to Football Insider, Crystal Palace are now determined to ward off interest from Tottenham and hang on to Eberechi Eze. Eze is now preparing for the Euro 2024 final on Sunday, along with his England teammates but back home, the attacking midfielder's future continues to be the subject of much speculation. Football Insider's latest update on the player's future comes as a blow to Tottenham, with the report claiming that Palace are determined to resist offers for their star man. The outlet reveals that both Spurs and Manchester United are long-term admirers of Eze, but after having lost Michael Elise to Bayern Munich, the Eagles are expected to fight to keep hold of the 25-year-old. Crystal Palace want Eberechi Eze to stay. The report states that Oliver Glasner has made it clear to the club's board that he wants the England international to remain at Selhurst Park. An optimism is high at Selhurst Park that the midfielder will indeed stay. The publication adds that both the Lillywhites and the Red Devils are expected to push ahead with moves for Eze upon his return from the tournament in Germany. If Tottenham want to sign Eze, they would likely have to meet the attacking midfielder's release clause, which by most accounts is far from straightforward. That is perhaps why Spurs have also made some advances towards Wren's starlit desire do over recent weeks. However, they also face a battle on their hands given the interest from Bayern and PSG. Spurs sources now expect serious push for England international. Give Me Sport have claimed that Tottenham Hotspur sources expect the club to push ahead with a move for Ivan Tony when the striker returns from the Euros. Tony has been linked with a move to Spurs for many months and the latest update suggests that we might soon see the Lily Whites advancing with an offer for the centre forward. According to Give Me Sport, Tottenham's chances of landing the England international are increasing the longer it goes without any other club launching a bid for the player. The report backs the Lily Whites to make a serious push for the former Peterborough United man, with the club allegedly hoping to land him for around £40 million. However, the outlet makes it clear that plenty of other sides, including Manchester United, Chelsea and West Ham, are keeping an eye on Tony's situation. It is explained that while there were previously concerns about the Bees star's attitude, there have been no such complaints from the England camp, which could encourage Spurs and others to push ahead with an offer. Finally, 
the publication adds that even though Brentford value Tony at £60 million, some lower offers could test the resolve of Thomas Frank's side. Tony will be looking to make more headlines on Sunday when England face Spain in the final of Euro 2024. If Tottenham are serious about their pursuit of a big money attacking midfielder Eberechieza or Desire Du and are also intent on adding an expensive winger such as Pedro Neto to their squad, I do not see how they can also afford Tony. The club might opt for a cheaper alternative such as Jonathan David who is in the last year of his contract at Lille. Spurs among clubs most advanced in the race to sign 10 goals and assists attacker this summer. Tottenham are keen on signing the Wren winger Desire Do this summer. The League One winger has attracted the attention of several clubs with his performances this past season and he managed to score four goals and pick up six assists in all competitions. Bayern Munich have already failed with an offer to sign the French winger and they will face competition from Tottenham Hotspur and Chelsea. The report from Le Keep claims that Tottenham are among the clubs who are most advanced in the race to sign the 19-year-old. He could prove to be a quality long-term acquisition for the North London club and he will add more cutting edge and quality in the final third. Tottenham certainly have the financial resources to get the deal done and it will be interesting to see if they submit an official proposal for the player. Dewey will be tempted to compete in the Premier League and the opportunity to join a big club like Tottenham will be quite attractive for him. They could provide him with the platform to showcase qualities in the Premier League as well in the European competitions. Tottenham need to improve their squad this summer if they are serious about challenging for trophies next season. The 19-year-old would be a long-term investment for them and he could develop into a key player for the club with the right guidance. Signing a quality winger should be one of their priorities this summer. They need someone who can add goals and creativity from the flanks. The 19-year-old is a prodigious talent for the bright future and he could easily justify the investment in the coming months. That's all for today's update. If you enjoyed the video and want to stay in the loop with all things Tottenham, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications on our latest content. Don't forget to like this video and share it with fellow Spurs supporters. Let's grow our Tottenham News Today community together. Thanks for watching. And as always, come on you Spurs.